Well, you know, sometimes it's hard to really find joy in celebrating the birthday of someone who is seriously ill. This is Pastor Hayton and the Lower Lights Devotional today. And tomorrow we're going to be celebrating the birthday of our great nation, United States of America. And I'm finding it very difficult this year to really find a lot of joy in celebrating the birthday of our nation because I believe that our nation is very ill. Now I know we're supposed to look on the bright side. I know we're supposed to be positive in our thinking. I know that we're supposed to shun negativity. And yet I think we have to sometimes just face some reality. And the reality is that our nation, nation that has long honored God, nation that used to be known as Christian America, a nation that used to uh, just really have the respect of the entire world because God has blessed us in a way perhaps that he hasn't blessed any other nation. And yet I think America is ill today. And I know that as we celebrate America, we certainly want to celebrate uh, the freedoms that we enjoy as Americans. I think about how privileged we are to live in such a wonderful land the United States of America, man, isn't it a fascinating uh, country? Just think about the, the varied uh, uh, landscapes that you find in our, in our nation. I mean, you know, from sea to shiny sea and uh, from uh, border to border, we find that uh, there's beauty everywhere you look. I've been privileged to live in several different states and yes, even Kansas. And yet I believe there's beauty in every place that we go. And I know that God has blessed America with beauty. If you don't like the mountains, you can find the prairie land. If you don't like the water, you can find a place where there's very little water. If you don't like a certain climate, well, you can find a place where the climate is much different. You know, if you like hot weather, we'll go to Arizona or Florida. If you like it colder, we'll go to one of the furthermost northern states and experience the long, long winters that they have there. I mean, we are a nation that is varied as far as landscape, climate, and beauty. And on every hand, we see that. Think of our natural resources that God has blessed us with. I think that uh, certainly the oil that uh, flows in the in the veins of the of the ground. I think about other resources that we have that have been harnessed to give us a, a high standard of living, and we are blessed with a lot of natural resources. America is blessed with beauty. America is blessed with a variety. America is blessed with resources. I think America is certainly a blessed nation because of the uh, of the freedoms that we have. Uh, we have a standard of living today that is unparalleled. And I think that uh, certainly we go to some of the third world countries and see how they live and even some of the socialistic countries of America and see their standard of living. Well, you can live just about as well as what you determine to live. If you've got a little bit of ambition and a little bit of gumption, well, you can make it in America. It's a land of opportunity where you can do just about as good as you want to do. But you know, in spite of all the good that we find, the beauty, the resources, the variety, all that we've talked about today, America is ill. There's a, a moral depravity that is taken over. There's a spiritual a thermometer that is dropping every day. And I think today that we need to recognize that America needs to turn back to God. And, you know, we've thought about the different verses that tell us to turn to God. And that over there in Chronicles, if my people which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, and I will hear from heaven and will heal their land. So there is healing for a sick nation, but it's up to us to seek God and to turn from our wicked ways. 
Thank you, Lord, for America today, for all the blessings and the benefits that we have from living in such a nation. But, Lord, we're a sick nation today. We need to turn back to God to turn from evil. That we might once again enjoy the full blessing of God. Bless us as we celebrate the birthday of our nation and turn our hearts back to God, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks for letting me share. See you Monday here on the Lord Likes Devotional with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye now.